In Creole ANSYS simulation, you can use idealizations like shells in order to reduce the number of elements and nodes in your simulation in order to reduce the complexity. In another video, I shelled a part from this assembly in Creo Simulate. Let's see how it looks in Creo ANSYS simulation. Let's click on the part. And then from the mini toolbar, I will open it up in its own separate window. You can see that it is relatively thin compared to its other dimensions. Let's go to the Applications command, and then we will choose ANSYS Simulation. Then we'll choose our simulation type. I will leave the default of Structure and click the Finish button. And now we are in the environment. Let's go to the Refine Model tab. And then from the shell drop down menu, we have the ability to detect shell pairs. I will click on that. And then for the references, well, I'm just going to highlight the main body in the model. Then we'll specify a maximum thickness for considering shells. I know that this is about 0.2 inches, so I'm going to specify a maximum thickness of 0.5. Then I will click the OK button. And then let's go over to our tree. And then I can see in the top here we have shell pairs. And in this case, it generated 20 different shell pairs in the model. You'll notice that there are some caution signs in here because no constraints or loads have been defined. If I try to take a look at the mesh, well, we'll see what happens. I'll go to Mesh Controls and then try to generate the mesh. And you'll see that we get the study check. It says, hey, there's no material, there's no structural constraints or structural loads. In Creo ANSYS simulation, you need to have your different parts of the analysis defined. So let's close out of here. Let's close the Mesh Control tab and go back to the ANSYS simulation tab. Then from here, let's choose our simulation material. I will use the drop down list. Oh, don't have anything from there. Let's use the more button and I'll go to my legacy materials. Let's close the warning about Creo 7 having a new default material. Let's grab steel and then add it to the model and then select it and click the OK button. So now we've got our material assigned for the constraints. Well, let's just go to the displacement icon and I'm just going to select a couple edges in the model in order to have constraints in it and then click the OK button. Oops, the coordinate system is not selected. Uh, let's click in the collector and I'll just grab my default coordinate system and click the OK button. And then we need to have loads in the model. I will define a simple gravity load. And then for the reference coordinate system, I'll choose the default coordinate system. And I like the Y direction, which corresponds to the triad in the lower right hand corner and the magnitude that is chosen for me. Let's click OK and then deselect everything. Now we'll go back to the refine model tab and then mesh control and try to generate the mesh. And now I can see from the process manager that it has finished. Let's now go to the display mesh command. And you can see what the finite element mesh would look like in this case. And I just want to point out that the mesh looks different in Creo ANSYS simulation because we're using finite element analysis as opposed to geometric element analysis that's used in Creo Simulate. The difference is that when you're doing FEA, if you want to get better results, you put in more elements. In GEA, like in Creo Simulate, you increase the polynomial order of the displacement function along the edges of your element. So it's a, a different approach to how it is done. And if you are looking at the model and you're like, oh, you know, this mesh isn't tight enough for what I want, you do have the mesh resolution drop down. If I increase it, well, I need to generate the mesh again. Let's do that and then give it a few seconds to run. And now it has completed. The process manager is giving us that notification. Let's now display the mesh once more. And well, it looks a little different in this particular situation. So that's how you can use the detect shell pairs command 
in Creole ANSYS simulation in order to generate shell elements where you have solid geometry. Let's go to a, another model where I created shell elements on surfaces and do the same thing as in that video. I will go to the Applications command and then ANSYS simulation. Let's use the Structural Analysis and I will click the Finish button. And let's once again throw in some constraints. So I'll choose my few edges in the model here in order to constrain them. And it has a default coordinate system selected. Let's click the OK button. And let's put in a gravity load. And in the Y direction, well, let's make it, I think it should be positive in this situation based on the Y direction. And then click the OK button. Now let's go to the Refine Model tab, and then we have the Shell command. You can also go to the drop down here. You'll notice that the other different shell commands in Creo ANSYS simulation are grayed out. When I click on Shell, it opens up the dialog box. Let's specify the uh, surfaces that we want to apply shell elements to. I will select those four. And then for the thickness, we have a drop down list where we can change the value. And let's use a value of 0.4. And then it's going to use the part material. You can use the more button if you want to grab a different material. Let's grab the steel that is from the legacy library and then click the OK button. And now you can see a preview of the shell elements with their thickness. Now I will go to the mesh control command. And once again, we have a drop down list for the mesh resolution. Between low and high, it is right in the middle. Let's generate the mesh. All right, so the mesh has been generated. Let's click on the display mesh button. You can see what it looks like. It looks pretty good for a finite element mesh. And once again, if you try going to the mesh resolution, you can crank it up and then regenerate the mesh. And it has finished. Let's click on display mesh. And now the mesh is a little tighter. So that is how you can use shell elements on both solid and surface geometry in Creo ANSYS simulation.